How do you think you got full funding for it? You know what? I got full funding for a number of reasons. One, I asked for it. Ah, I love that. I straight up said in my application, like, my intent is to apply for this PhD electronic arts program with full funding. I was very explicit in what that. I wanted. And I think if I hadn't made that explicit, uh -huh. it, I don't, I think I would have gotten funding. I just don't think I would have gotten full funding. That's amazing. And I made that request explicit because it's like, here I am putting myself out there, taking this seriously. And if you're equally serious about me as a candidate, mm -hmm. then here, here's what you need to here's know. Here's what I need. <clears throat> I, if I'm not getting full funding, I'm not coming. Mm -hmm. Not because I don't want to come, but I cannot come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was the first thing. Mm -hmm. And that was a very terrifying ask. Mm -hmm. it's, it's bold. It's very bold. And it puts you in a very vulnerable position to just say flat out, here's what I need. Here's mm -hmm. what I want. Because there's always like a moment of rejection. And that fear of rejection mm -hmm. is a true fear. Mm -hmm. Um, but I had to put that aside. I had to put my ego aside mm -hmm. and I had to put that fear aside if I really wanted to give this a true, like, honest try and not mm -hmm. wonder what if down the line. Mm -hmm. Because I think if I had gotten accepted but didn't get full funding and had I not written it into my letters that I needed funding, I would have always wondered. What if I asked? What if I asked? Like, maybe That's would amazing that, have that you something? thought of that with all that, pr your Kermit the Frog typing that you still managed to... <laughs> I guess you had you would have been you would have been very clear that that's what the case was. So. Yeah. And what were the um, other reasons? So that was one of the reasons. I think the other reason is because the work that I'm doing is giving a voice and like contribution to a totally different perspective that doesn't really exist in contemporary bio art. So it, I'm sort of like paving the way for a new voice and a new generation and mm -hmm. a new perspective that isn't Eurocentric. Mm -hmm. a new perspective in the arts that takes into a account an immigrant experience. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and like a racial experience. Mm -hmm. And that does exist in the arts, but in the context of bio art and the type of work yes. uh, that my art is centered in, it doesn't really exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's really pushing that boundary. And I think it's, it's sort of like a win-win for both parties um, where it's sort of like bragging rights, you know? It's like everyone wants to be able to say that they were one of the first to have done this or, uh -huh. or accomplished that or whatever. And so if my work gets to that stature, then RPI gets to say she's a PhD candidate or graduate from our institution and uh -huh. we were the ones who gave her the platform. Uh -huh. So I think um, pitching it in that way yeah. um, was very smart on my part. Uh -huh. Um, but it's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Got it. I think those were, I, I think that was why right. I got what I wanted. Right. And so it's like, it's, it makes me smile because it's like, I feel like people can go so far sometimes when they're so, so niche at something, mm -hmm. when it's like such a specific yeah. thing that they become known for that thing. So I don't want to pigeonhole myself, right. but right now I am in a very niche mm -hmm. space. Like, and, and it's I'm, like you're a niche within a niche. And oh. I'm milking it. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, um, yeah. I think you just have to play smart in, yeah. in, in those situations. Right. And I've sort of like found my voice in a way or mm. have come into my voice a little bit better. Mm. But mm -hmm. I think that just comes with time and experience and also like putting yourself out there and getting rejected and trying mm -hmm. and trying mm -hmm. and not letting that one idea or like falsified sense of failure get in the way or inhibit your progress mm -hmm. um, I have to always remind myself that I'm still moving I'm still making yeah. steps and I'm still making progress it might not seem like major mm -hmm. or you know everyone wants to get to the end goal um, and not that people don't want to put in the work but it's like you get so excited by the thought of getting to the end that you just want to gloss over everything else to get there. Mm -hmm. And so it feels like all these like little moments, even though they can be significant when you're looking at it in hindsight, in that moment, it doesn't feel like much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I, I feel like I'm constantly having to negotiate with myself and remind myself that 
I am making progress mm -hmm. and I am making moves. No matter how small it may seem or how slow it may seem, I'm still getting there. Mm -hmm.